All right, Justin, wrapped up practice number 13. You got two more to go before the spring game. Uh, where, are we, where are you at right now? Yeah, I mean, as a uh, unit, definitely have progressed, uh, ones and twos, in terms of technique and scheme. Um, 13 practices of a new offense under your belt, you know, is always helpful. Uh, and I think as, as a whole unit, uh, we've seen significant strides. Obviously, you need to improve on it. Never satisfied with just good enough, so. Last year, we it's safe to say that the culture wasn't as good as it could be. And I remember before the Cal game, there were some issues. Can you talk about the, the culture today versus last year and how it's just maybe taking some of the pressure off of you and the other players to, to kind of have to be in control, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it can be difficult just of the circumstances that happened last year for guys to stay bought into the team and, and fire and weak coach too. That's that's always tough, you know. If, if you're a leader and you're a young kid, you know, that just came in. So uh, this year, I think it's just reassuring that uh, this university believes in us. I hired a great coach, and uh, everyone's bought into the program. Um, from day one, Coach Riley said, just trust us, with the, whatever they do, you know, and they're going to trust us as well to, to do our part. So it's just been a, a, a mutual respect from both sides, and I think you can see the benefits out here on practice days. Yeah, we can talk about that on Saturday, about how the coaches and the players sense when, you know, there's not a lot of caring going on. Um, is there a huge difference between last year and this year with the sense of caring? I mean, every coach cares about you. I still love Coach Helton. You know, he gave me the opportunity to play here. Uh, and his staff, um, with his new staff, they all gave us the opportunity to continue to play here. And, and, and they believe in us, and you can tell, and they want us to go win with them. So mutual respect for both sides, uh, for both coaching staffs. And just excited to get the season. What do you feel like progress stands just in general with the offensive line after you? Yeah, huge strides for sure. Uh, new offense, so 13 practices is always a good thing. Um, ones, twos, and threes, it's significant uh, improvement in technique um, and just like physicality. Coach Henson has done a great job. Uh, these, even us old heads, you know, it's always an evolving game, you know, and always get better in our technique. And he's brought some great things, great schemes, so it's, it's been really good. The last couple of years, you really been that sixth offensive line and I know you got a lot of run with the first team offensive line through spring. Do you feel like you've been able to really show this new staff that you can kind of you're, you'd be able to step into that position if called for? Yeah, I mean I uh, just every day it kind of been my motto through my career here is just be where I'm needed and then where I'm called upon, you know, just do my best and I'm, I'm excited that they gave me a shot to be on the first team right guard. Uh, I'm excited and I'll, I'll still rotate center left guard wherever they need me. I love doing that. I love having that kind of behind my name. I actually take a lot of pride in that, and it just helps our team overall win. So, have you done any center or left guard work, or has it been strictly right guard? Um, a few weeks ago, I, I, I think I got practice at center. Uh, no left guard yet, but uh, I get snaps after and stuff. Uh, so I'm still working the craft because you can never lose that snapping touch. As one of the, as one of the veterans, how would you assess the younger guys behind you coming up on the O-line, like Maximus and, and Mason? Yeah, I mean, um, definitely one area of improvement for us older guys is being better leaders. Um, see, like being a senior leadership is crucial for development as the young guys. And I feel like with what the staff and this culture and the meetings we had, they've, they've taught us how to be great leaders. And so uh, respect to Brett and, and Voorhees and stuff, We've kind of taken these young guys under our wing and, and helped them develop, and the young guys actually bought into it, and it's just it's awesome to see. So. What do you hope this offensive line can showcase on Saturday in front of the, in front of the fans? Uh, yeah, just physicality, and um, i just excited to show off this new offense a little bit and, and show you as a unit what we can do from O-line, quarterback, to wide receiver level. Also defense, you know, it, it, there's going to be plays on both sides of the ball. And I just hope it's a physical game and then gets the fans excited. Thanks, Justin.